Thanks for pressing play. You are watching a brand new episode of Excalibur CCG TV's Talking Comics. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah. Um, I'm Olivia. I'm Mark. Um, Santa Mark. Yeah. And we are at Excalibur Comics, yes, Cards and Games in Treeport, but we also have a location in Texarkana that if you live there, you should check that one out. If you live here, you should check this one out. If you don't live here, you should check out our online store That's and right. website and Twitter and Facebook. All that stuff. All of those things. All um, that social media you kids are crazy about these days. Um, we're talking about the great new comics that hit the shelf on December 26th. That's the... Day after the day. The anti-Christmas Eve. Yes. Oppo opposite day. Christmas hangover day, I like to call it. True. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk about them. Why don't you start? <laughs> I will do that. Okay, we're going to start with Die, 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 number six from Image Comics. Robert Kirkman and Scott Gimple writing and Chris Burnham with the art. Uh, wow, I can't believe that happens in this issue. Or that, or that, that and that. Oh, so, wow. Lots of stuff happening, probably having to do with dying, die, die, die. All good stuff. This is a very light week, so uh, we're trying to entertain you as best we can. Yeah. Um, Fantastic Four number five, Marvel Comics. Yeah. Dan Slott, Aaron Cotter, and various. Various, Bill, various. The wedding that's been years in the making. Ben and Alicia say, I do. We've had the wedding special, now we have the wedding. Yep. This year. There's also issue 600. Is it? Okay. I think. Like the 700. It's one of those numbers. Somewhere around there. Um, no bait. No switch. This is not an X-Men wedding. <laughs> this is not a Mole Man She-Hulk wedding. This is a Fantastic Four wedding. Okay. Not a dream. Not a hoax. And we swear not a single scroll around. Well, I guess, yeah, there was one Fantastic Four wedding that was a scroll. Yeah. Ignore Johnny that one. And Johnny and... The Think about the, the Elijah, the Elijah Richards, not the storms. Right. This is really happening. Really and truly. From the book that brought you the first, best, and longest-running superhero marriage in comics, we give you the wedding of Ben Grimm and Alicia Masters, featuring an untold tale of the courtship of Ben and Alicia, a bachelor party that only Johnny Storm could throw, and a very special ceremony brought to you in the mighty Marvel manner. All right. We had the bachelorette party in the special, and now we get to see we get to the see bachelorette Johnny. Party. Yep. Okay. Maybe nice. the strippers are scrolls. We don't know. All right. Uh, kind of staying with Marvel, but also with IDW. This is another one of their um, kid-friendly uh, line of comics that they're putting out with Marvel characters. This is Marvel Action Avengers number one. From IDW, Matthew K. Manning writing, John Samariva, Samariva, or not? I don't know. Uh, with the art, uh, a new era of all-out Avengers action begins. A new team is formed to battle a mega-sized threat that is weirder. I'm assuming that's weirder and not weirder and wilder than any of the super than any of the superheroes I've met before. This new ongoing series will be the perfect opportunity for middle grade readers and fans of all ages to experience the thrilling adventures of Avengers Comics for the first time. Or not for the first time. I mean, I'm sure it's adult-friendly as well as kid-friendly. Usually yeah. that goes together. I read the Spider-Man one. It was actually kind of fun. The IDW one? or the Yeah, the IDW yeah. one. They got good stuff. I yeah. love them. Um, speaking of Spider-Man, Superior Spider-Man, number one, he's here. Marvel Comics, Christos, Christos, Gage, and Mike Hawthorne. Otto Octavius leaves the moniker of Dr. Octopus behind and once again becomes the superior Spider-Man. If you think you've already read the most intense and surprisingly heartbreaking superior Spider-Man, prepare to be wrong. <laughs> that means you... Even if you do think so, you're wrong. Like That's you're not right. actually you thinking. You are wrong, that. no matter what. Instantly, yeah. automatically wrong. Otto is going to prove to the world that he's the most effective and, to him at least, the best superhero in the world. But when a villain that overpowers him by so much shows up, 
in San Francisco, there's no way Ock can win, right? Can you see Ock auto smirking from where you're reading this or hearing this on YouTube? <laughs> in the comfort of your own home? Yep, where you're wrong. Um, all right, staying with Marvel, because everything out this week is from Marvel. I think DC is only putting out trade paperbacks. Yeah. And uh, one image comic and, like, uh, something else. I don't know. It's a very light week. There's not much out. Um, X-Force number one. Another number one. Uh, written by Ed Brisson and Dylan Burnett on the art. Cable is dead. Sorry for the spoiler. And now the original X-Force team of Domino, Cannonball, Shatterstar, Boom Boom, and Warpath must hunt down the murder of their former leader. The mutant militia are hot for blood, but when their target is the time-traveling younger version of their fallen mentor, is there a line they absolutely cannot cross, and what does Deathlock have to do with all of it? Don't know. Is that considered suicide? What's that? Um, time-traveling and then killing yourself. Ooh, I'm not going to get into that discussion now. I haven't had any Christmas libations yet. I would do that if I was, you know, never mind. I'm not going to do all that. Holiday cheer. Ho, ho, ho. That's what it's all about. Holly jolly. Yes. Um, let, let's get back into that spirit with some Marvel Christmas. Yay. It's called Seasons Beatings. We talked about it last week. It came out. Because that's what it, it, it that when we talk about it, it means it comes out. That's right. Um, it's got two different covers. This one's the variant. Only and two. They both have the Stanley thing. So there's no ads. No. Because they wanted to be tasteful. <clears throat> um, you got Deadpool hosting the that's, story. Okay. They all the stories happen at the same time, and they're all kind of connected. Um. You got the X-Force with Santa, like a line of people coming in, and for some reason everyone wants to see the X-Force, even though they haven't been popular since the 90s. Hmm, I wonder why. Well, now they have a new number one, so I guess they're like big again. I guess so. Uh, um, Pete and Miles, Peter Parker and Miles Morales, um, have a little... Uh, Discussion, I guess, about they do that working on holidays. Oh, okay. You know, who needs a day off and who doesn't? Um, you got Squirrel Girl, unbeatable. Unbeatable. Parentheses. Um, and Doctor Doom, bringing the holiday cheer to the people who don't usually get some holiday cheer. Okay. And then you got the West Coast Avengers and some mall Santas. All right. And a murder. Ooh, that sounds fun. And then it all comes up together at the end, and it's pretty, pretty fun. Okay, kind of like a I don't Seinfeld spoil episode. It. Everything ties in. All right, well, I'm gonna um, <clears throat> stick with Marvel, I guess, because that's what I do mostly with this older stuff. Um, this is um, another trade paperback, Spider-Man: Maximum Carnage, the whole shebang in one book, thirty bucks. Um, this has got uh, Spider-Man. And some friends, uh, Iron Fist, Captain America, uh, Black Cat, Firestar, maybe some others, trying to stop... Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger, yes. Cloak and Dagger in this as well. Um, trying to stop Carnage, and, and, well, and an, and an uneasy alliance with Venom until the end. Trying to stop uh, Carnage and his little gang of baddies, uh, Shriek and Carrion and... Uh, Somebody who else was it? Uh, Demogoblin, yeah, and the the six armed Spider Man do uh, doppelganger with the weird eyes. Uh, anyway, they're all causing murder, mayhem, and all that good stuff in the city. So Spider Man and all his friends get together to stop him, and then Spider Man has to stop somebody from trying to kill Carnage, and I won't say who, but I'm sure you can guess. And uh, anyway, it's the whole story. It's a big long uh, event. I kind of think they this came out. I think after. Around the same time as Nightfall, I think they wanted to do like a Spider-Man thing because the whole big Batman thing was going on. I don't know. That could be... don't know. But that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. Uh, anyway, it's a fun story. Um, lots of fights, lots of symbiotes, lots of carnage, and uh, fun stuff. So that's my recommendation for this week. Okay, well, I guess that brings this episode to a close. 
because we've talked about all the things that we're supposed to talk about. This is true, and probably some things that we weren't supposed to talk about. But, yeah. But that's okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, oh, oh. Be sure to check out the website, the Facebook, the Twitter, and subscribe. Yes. And hit that bell for notifications yes. every time we post a new video. Throw some more comments out and there. And throw some comments. Yes. Uh, see you in the next episode of Read Good Comics. Yes, that too.